This is a simple tool. It's just a stick with some sandpaper on it that I use all the time. I'll use it for uh, setting a let off in a grand and in an upright. There's a way to do that. I'll show you in the video. I use it to square keys. I use it to level keys. This is a good straight edge right here. And you can, if it roughs up a little bit, you can sand it down and get it perfect just in a couple seconds on the sander. And, uh, you know, you can hit little dogs with it or whatever you want. So the stick is about 14 inches long. The width is 5 eighths of an inch. And the other dimension is 3 quarters of an inch. So 3 quarters by 5 eighths. And I've got sandpaper on one side. And by the way, I use this sometimes just for sanding a few things. But usually I try to keep this pristine. This is a little trick. If you have a lot of turning to do, what you're going to do in the piano, you're going to set the first and second and the second to the last and the last one in each section. You're going to set them right by looking through the strings, getting that right in the piano. So these two are going to be set correctly. These two, the first and the last one, I'm going to raise up everything but those two. I'm going to put my stick in, which has sandpaper on one side. Put this here like this. I'm going to press the key until the hammer winks. And what I want to see is the hammer wink and hear it too. You should be able to hear it and see it, but see it slightly, but hear it, because the hearing is also going to help. Now, if you look on the other side, I need to raise it up until it just ticks. There. They call that winking. So I want them both to wink. Now, that one winks, and this one winks. So then you can just go through, put on your ratcheting tool, and just watch it as it comes up, and uh, get them all right. Play the key softly and make sure every hammer winks exactly the same. Now here is how you use the stick in an upright. This is an old trick that's been around for 100 years at least. Remember there's sandpaper on this side. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put the sandpaper side against the hammer rest rail, which is felt so it will stay up. And I put it like this. Then I take a rubber mute and I insert this at the point here on the bracket that will raise it to the point that I want of let off. I'm looking at the piano now and that's where I want my let off. And now I can go through and press the key and see if it lets off at that point. And I can set all my let off like that. Of course, the other use that I mentioned is to square the keys. Take this since it's wood, it won't hurt the balance rail pin. And you're gonna square it by tapping the pin one way or the other to square the key.